Two weeks ago, I was fortunate enough to be able to go on a mountain lion hunt in the Ruby Mountains in Nevada. And so, wanted to bring you guys along as we track down a monster tom that our guide had uh, spotted a few days before our hunt. It wasn't long before we came up on the tracks of the tom, and it was time to let the dogs loose. They could make a loop. What do you think, Clamp? Ready to go. Started. It didn't take long, and before we knew it, our guide could tell by the GPS colors on the dog that they had a cat treed. However, of the four dogs that he released, only two were at the tree. Another two had split off to take off after a different cat. We knew we had to go see what kind of cat these dogs had treed. So we put on our snowshoes and started up the hill. After about two hours of hiking, we finally reached the dogs and could see the cat sitting in the tree. It only took one glance at the cat to know that this was the monster Tom we had come for. Oh yeah. We got the dog's harness back and our gear sat down. My heart raced as I prepared to take a shot at the cat that sat just six yards away. Right there, you got it. You got him right behind his elbow. Hurry. 
Nice job, Plant. Great shot. Nice shot. Good job. <laughs> nice cat. I think so. Yeah. We'll make sure it's not any. Just make sure there's no arrow sticking out of him before they let the dogs go. They might, they yeah. Poke him with it, make sure he looks like he's piled up. Kind of grabbing by the back leg and pulling maybe a little bit. Nice. Good job, Got his cat. Got him. I couldn't have imagined a better hunt, and I want to thank my dad for taking me. I also want to thank Mitch Buzzetti with Nevada High Desert Outfitters for lining everything up, and Dave Gallen with Canyons West Guide Services and his amazing dogs for helping me track down this awesome tom.